The l to p program is absolutely critical for regional kids. A lot of people take for granted, particularly people in cities and regional areas, that um, people can get around to job interviews to schools and universities. In rural areas like ours, that's often not the case. It's a right, really, of every teenager, isn't it, to have, that, to have their licence. So often their families are unavailable to help them or they haven't got the means to be able to assist them. So this program gives them the opportunity that everyone else has. I've loved the interaction with young people. I think it helps to keep you young. Um, certainly I've learned things about young people that I had no idea about. And some of the young people we work with are coming from a family situation where there isn't even a car in the family. Firstly, they will have a professional drive with a professional teacher again in the, in the professional's car. And all or the other mentor will be sitting in the back Often they're um, either retired or semi-retired and looking for something to give back to the community and they do a course to learn how to be uh, an instructor. So it's a win-win because they're all, they're all gaming something and they're all building great connections. So yeah, it's fabulous. You're putting something back into the community and especially young people uh, trying to get their licences to get jobs. And another thing is self-satisfaction, you get out of it and they put you up with training and it's great. On the morning of the test or the day of the test, they might book the L2P car for an hour prior to when they have to go and do their drive, just to shake out those nerves for them, practice all the little skills that they need to know, you know, stopping at the stop signs and going through the roundabouts and doing practicing their three-point turn and their reverse parking. So they've got that familiarity again about what's going to be expected of them. If you've got the time, even if it's only an hour a week, uh, that may be enough over time to get that person the hours they need to get behind the wheel. Absolutely, even one hour a week. And, and that would be, you know, there'd be many people who would be very grateful for that. Just look, kids, um, we're very good at doing training, like most of us have had some sort of training. And a lot of us have got the time and patience to train you. I'll jump online right now and try and get in, involved in the system. Like if mum and dad, you don't want to drive with mum and dad because they're not good to drive with. Come and drive with me, I'm, I'm a bit of fun. I mean, a lot of these participants need to travel for school, for work, um, to go to TAFE. So without this, they're limiting their opportunities. One of the reasons that the Glenelgshire Council is so proud uh, to be involved in this program is it creates opportunities for those people that might not otherwise have them. Opportunities for education, opportunities for employment, uh, and opportunities to participate in sport and other community activities. That's why we're proud to support this program.